So what is Python? Then why it is popular? What are the features of this? And like if, if the Python is used in the industries, then what are the fields and where exactly it is being used? And then what would be the learning path for you all? And then the career opportunities. Okay. After then we'll be uh, looking onto the more things. Okay. So exactly what is Python if you go with the things, right? So we say it has to be a general purpose interpreted language with very easy and semantics, right? Dynamic semantics. Now, when we talk about interpreted language and when we say even about the programming language, can anyone tell me what is a programming language? Yeah, anyone quickly, what is a programming language? It's a journal is a set of instructions which is given by a user to a machine to perform a particular task. Yeah, normally if you define up the programming language, we say like it to be a set of instructions, set of commands, a set of rules given to the systems to perform some actions or to give some outputs, right? Okay. So we give some commands, instructions, rules and all those things we say as to be a programming language, isn't it? So all those commands, instructions and rules what we give to the computer or to the system we say to be as the programming language you need to say, right? But exactly if we define that language of programming it's something like when we like Let's say like if we want to talk with each other, what we know, or like with the common language we are talking about with, like in the English right now, okay. So, in the same thing if we are like, if we want to communicate with our systems, right, we need to know one language. Now, with that language, what system knows, there are a lot of language, like around 39 to 40, 50 languages are there, right. So, you are learning one of the language for today, right, that is Python. It's very simple, okay. So that is used to being communicate with your systems and all, right? That is bookish language. Obviously, you need to come give commands, rules, and all those things, right? Pretty simple things. Okay. So it was created in 1989 by Van Ross himself. Okay. All right. Now, when he created, he has a very simple goals in his mind that it should be uh, very easy. It should be very very easy to use, and it should be free to everyone to use, right? All these uh, things were there in his mind while creating up these things. Okay, so we'll see all the features and how it works exactly. Okay, so uh, till now everyone has installed the things. Anaconda, hopefully we'll go with the things. Okay, so the very first feature what you can see here is let's code then pre-built libraries, then ease of learning, platform independent, and then massive community support, right? And then uh, down what you see is the Python is the language which is preferred by the beginners and the pros alike. Now, when we say the preferred by the beginners and the pros alike, it means like it is preferred by the beginners as well as it is like, like the programmers, those who are starting right, with the beginning those even don't know the P of programming you can say, right, with the very beginners, okay, like those people also, right, with the beginners and the professionals, okay, professionals we have uh, like shortened hair, those be pros, so professionals, those who are working in different sectors or Python developers, you say, right, or different fields, the uh, employees or scientists or analysts, those who use Python as their things, right, so we say as to be professionals, so, it is a language which is preferred by the beginners and also the professionals. Okay. Next is why this is popular because this is an open source language. Many languages are there which is an open source, right? So we say it has to be a floss. Floss means the free library open source and software. Okay. Which is easy to use and free to use. Very easy. Okay. And it is 
it can be used in any ways right in the web applications in the mobile applications in the desktop like yesterday i saw you right how you can use it like on the web even if you don't have pcs and all in your mobiles also some apps are there um, which helps you to code up the python right uh, scripts and things can be coded up there too <coughs> all right sorry now why again this is popular that is the last uh, more feature also a lot of features are there we'll be discussing later on it that is has a huge community which constantly make libraries and help those in the need of the libraries now what exactly are those libraries yesterday i uh, make you saw some of the modules if you remember some modules were there a lot of things were given right like if uh, I, I have written some command over the help of modules okay and then you saw a lot of things coming there some pinkish pinkish warning were there and then after that a uh, lot of things were there right so those were the modules and libraries you can see so all those libraries are very important in itself some are there like numpy there some is there like uh, pandas you will be learning pandas also even if it is not in your course but you will be learning pandas too because when you will be doing project pandas will be required okay now yeah, right and then there are numpy sci-fi a lot of things okay okay now it's just a minute okay so moving on to the features of python we'll go with the very first that is simplicity now it is very simple to use as i said right so you have to very less think about the code you just need to go and write up the things and only think about your codes okay open source we have to find portability something like uh, in this language when you are writing up the codes you can convert your codes from this uh, python from any other language or you can bring any other language code to python right so convertibility can be done here right like uh, python to json xml c++ different formats okay then like extensible you know right uh, when we see a lot of snippets of code can be extended here like uh, uh, a normal thing if you are talking about like if a youtube video if you are talking about right so there is a option for uh, embedding it right there is right click and embed it there so if you have a code you need to embed it like a window over there you can do this right it's very simple with the features of python then is being interpreted now it is very important because uh, everywhere we look like python is an interpreted programming language obviously right now what exactly is a difference those who have learned or those who, who have done c c plus plus also of this python batch uh, what is the difference between an interpreter and compiler can even define it compiles the whole code in a particulars in a one way and one does it in the one line by line if you have a code one would interpret it in the line by line and one does it in a single go itself hmm. okay. so compiler will be converting your codes into the machine language at once and interpreter will be doing it line by line obviously. okay Right, so the errors chances get less in the interpreted sites. Okay. Libraries we have discussed and the object oriented programming where the real life uh, problems you can make it into the programs and you can solve it there. Okay. All right. Now where is Python used in industries? The very first is Google for the better search results. Now how this is being made you know about the keywords we talk about okay like let's say you are searching for something called as python very simple right the moment you press your enter or the search button on the uh, google right what happens 
in the very next line below the search bar you find some millions of result and just beside that you find some very microseconds milliseconds right 0 0.62 seconds 0 0.75 seconds not even one second also it might take some time one very rare otherwise you get a lot of results in some many seconds right so what is this exactly this is given by the preference of the most visited websites or you can say the ranking of the websites like if we are searching for the python then what all are the websites what all are the websites where the users or where the visitors are visiting for python or what all websites are containing the keyword called as python on google right like i have made a website you have made a website the other has made a website like we have a like let's say we are in a class and 20 of us has made a website where there is at least a keyword keyword we will be discussing about like a term even you can say um, somewhere it might come like python is there okay let's say we haven't discussed about anything but there is a term called as python in the website so our websites will become now according to the websites the preference would be given up right like uh, which website is seen for most of the times like the rankings okay so obviously the python.org official site will be the very web first website because everyone would be looking for that only right after then you can go for the python documentations python help python this this and then all this right so that can be done later on that's right next we have see of the dropbox now here something as a server and the client applications we really talk about right the processings and all are coded using the python right and the very next thing is the netflix very interesting actually now here is a method used as machine learning okay now what is this exactly now this netflix not only netflix this amazon flipkart mintra any any you talk about the um, what is that called as e-commerce websites okay any e-commerce websites or the um applications or the websites or like you can say the servers and many things are there like which uses this amazon uh, sorry which uses this machine learning to cluster the users now what exactly is clustering the users let's say that when you make an Ama uh, account in amazon or let's say in the netflix right what happens uh, you will be asked to like in the Netflix what will happen so, like you will be asked to choose three movies or like any of the or three shows or anything what you like right so based on your likes uh, based on what you choose on the genre on the different different things are terms are there right so on those terms they decide and they bring out at least some like 50 100 shows movies like that with the same generous and all okay and obviously you will like because if you like something like which is thriller or if you if you like horror movies right so you'd be obviously searching for the horror movies in the top three right and then it would be giving you all the horror movies only right so that is things like in the first time if you visit amazon and you open your uh, account over there and like let's just let's say you search for the laptop okay then the very next time when you open it You'll find all the things related to laptop. Mostly, you'll find laptop bags. Even if you don't search, you will get it right. You will find laptop accessories. You will find laptops, different different uh, companies, right? And a lot of things. So that is done using based on machine learning. That is a technique actually. Okay, and it is used to cluster. Cluster means to group the things. Okay, like if I say there is a class of sixty students, then I would be making a cluster of uh, twelve students sorry i'll making a cluster of 12 with five students in each right and i'll say like if five um, have a interest to play like ludo five have an interest on play uh, carom five have an interest on play cricket so based on their choices i am going to make clusters okay and if you know like what users like, like for any company if it knows like what user wants obviously and it can uh, and when it can give exactly the things what user wants obviously the company is going to retain for a longer time right 
Next, we have the National Security Agency. It's a very really simple thing, right? Side. The encryption and decryption now also when you talk on the WhatsApp, so when you chat on WhatsApp through there, you find something in the top where written as your chats are being encrypted. Okay. So these are not always being encrypted actually. It is being given to different different things, but that will be discussing later onwards. Okay. So encryption and decryption is what so when you send a message from here, the messages are being sent with the encrypted codes okay now when it is being sent it is an encrypted code and when it received when it is being received by the uh, different server or the your, your friend or the messenger who, who are who you are giving the message right so there it is going to be decrypt okay and that is a process which is done using the python with the nsa i'm talking about okay it is bit torrent you all know right when you download the things the files will become is python file Annex the NASA uses this for scientific calculations using patterns. Now again, how they use using the libraries SciPy, NumPy, uh, and then SimPy are there for the scientific calculations. Okay. Then what should be the learning paths? The basics of the Python. From where do you need to start up? The very first thing is to be find out the variables. Okay what exactly the variables we first things we'll be going through that then we'll be looking onto the data types and the operators then the arrays and the flow control the methods file handlings and then object oriented programming and the practice sessions practice sessions is always needed today you are not going to get any practice sessions okay so tomorrow you'll be getting because today we are going to just go through the things okay so from tomorrow we'll be start up coding and then you will be getting your practice things okay. now career opportunities now in python you have a lot of career opportunities actually right so different fields are there to work on like you see here is web development and game development big data web testing artificial intelligence and data science and smart services and you see the graph of this python has a very good graph and even like if we talk about experience right so if you know python you can go to a lot of things like even ethical hacking can be done uses python, using python right a lot of fields are there which can be done using python if you are going with that um, you can go with the python like if i define some of the fields just a minute So in the field of bios also you can go with the biotechnology these artificial intelligence comes in the bios too right okay experience when we talk about so python developer earns here in india around 500k with an average salary i'm talking about okay now that also depends like whenever you are going with salary purpose when i are going with any job right so what do you need basically for the very first thing is your experience now experience also like how many years of experience you're having in your field right so if you compare of the things so i'll share this ppt with you you can go through once again okay so five lakhs per year exactly okay now when we talk about experience of what So it is pay by experience level of the like it is for the software engineer right same could be for a developers and all okay now if you're having one to four years experience see it is 588k like it increases as your experience increases with 5 to 9 it's 1 with 10 to 19 it's 2 and it increases as your uh, the years of experience increases okay 
and then we are looking to the locations so in India the very good locations and the best location to work within Python developer or something with the, with the Python if you are going to do right the best locations could be Bangalore or the Gurgaon or Pune okay these are the best areas New Delhi is also fine okay but I think like what Pune is better Bangalore is better and Gurgaon is better not as it does and all okay so those are best areas for this field okay and in the US if you can see like in the top California is something which post 1900 jobs per month for this Python developers and all. so okay based on the locations also you can get a lot of jobs careers options okay like if you say you want to search for tamil nadu you can you, you want to go to tamil nadu and you can you know, do the jobs there too right so it will not be highly preferable at com as compared to the delhi's and pune mumbai okay the different job has uh, its own importance and own locations and all now if we say that we know python okay i am a python developer let's say okay then what are the skills a python developer needs to possess okay so there should be some skills like aws django apis dockers linux google cloud computing machine learning what i was talking about javascript the java and jet all right all these are the things now what exactly these skills are nothing but the libraries and the modules and some different things what the users or the developers should have in their fields okay like if i say that i am a python developer and i also know machine learning right so what do you see the points and the jobs are not even the points those are the jobs given per month right okay based on the 300 jobs how many jobs are for the machine learning so you can see 98 jobs for the machine learning if you know cloud computing 99 right so not only like if you know machine learning then you have to go through a lot of fields in the machine learnings too okay. just a minute come here. Now, like AWS is the top most working. Like if you if you know AWS, it's better Amazon Web Services. Okay, Django APIs, Docker's Jet is also important. Like if if you don't know anything, go through the Jet. That's it. Okay, Jet apps and all are very, very important. Okay. So uh, till now, whatever we have discussed, if anyone is having any doubts. Hmm. at least everyone ha everyone had understand what exactly is python what are its features how we are going to use it okay and all those things i hope all those things will be clear to you uh, someone has asked one doubt let me see Where would use as can so not to be done. What is dynamic semantics? Okay, see, yeah, actually, uh, we say it has to be the codes, right? In the same time, how many codes you are going to run? Okay, or you can say, like, uh, in different languages, or sometimes, like, here, when you are assigning something, like, uh, let's say, x equals to 10 we say at a time we can do one task but here at a time we can do a lot of things right like if you're assigning variables a very simple thing i'm just showing you right if you're assigning variables at a time you can assign a lot of variables not one two three four five six seven numbers you want you can assign that is dynamic okay and that semantics is there 
right so objects instances and the values all the things when you write up the things that is in most of the programming language you can do by once right so here you can perform at once okay so that is for the dynamic semantics uh, just a minute so let's one revise the things so what we have seen it <clears throat> so why Python the very first reason it has extensive libraries and frameworks for machine learning and artificial intelligence mostly we use for that right and some of which has the examples here again Keras, TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, NumPy, Panda, SciPy and Cpon okay Next, we look on to the reason two that is Python is a platform independent language. Its code can be made to create standalone executable programs and it can be used on any uh, Windows, Macos, Linux, web applications, mobile applications. Okay. Next is it has a very big community and a lot of popularities. Okay. And always among the top 10. Now it is being like I can read it like the top three mostly. Okay and which basically ultimate means that you can find of your solutions you have your doubts and you can hire a development company very easily ai based projects and all okay now it is very easy to learn and it's uh, codes and all being assembled every day so syntax are very easy allow you to comfortably work with the complex systems ensuring clear relations between the system requirements okay now what are the things you can do with the Python like you can develop a website, you can develop desktop softwares, you can develop games and graphics, you can develop the Android applications, complex ones, okay, and you can perform data analysis which is very important, right, exactly, data analysis is a lot of things important, I am also a data analyst, okay, so you can perform data analysis using visual tools and for machine learning and all, artificial neural networks, ANN, KNN, CNN, a lot of things are there and you can manage big data using spark okay now can anyone tell me an application name which can or which is coded using python any application what you know code it using so the railway ticket system i guess in india the irtc is using IRCTC. Mm. Yes, sir. I mm. to the IRCTC. Might be any other application. Just a second. IRCTC might be using it. It has written net and C sharp. Mm -hmm. C sharp and something is being used, I think. Uh, like what I got nine of that even. Instagram, you know, very basic example for that. Instagram is totally built on this, D Django's and Python. Okay, how uh, see when we'll be starting up this, we'll be having a lot of things like the very simple things you can find. Like uh, in this thing, uh, there is a term called as username in Instagram. When you write things, you cannot, cannot write numbers in the starting. You cannot use the special characters and all. 
these all are basics python methods of writing any variables usernames and all okay so we'll be looking on to this python features we have seen no compilings no linkings or oh, just a second i forgot something compilations now python codes are first compiled and then being interpreted but all we do and all we say is python sub first interpreted that's all right so the compilers compilation process is very less exactly right so you will not find any things over there right so that is it okay so no type declarations are there automatic memory managements are there high level data types operations ops embedding and extending in c's and uh, what is a c sharp and all it could be added fast development simpler shorter more flexible things right and a lot of things you go through this right and and once you install you will getting an ide which is an integrated development environment where you can write up your codes you can convert your things you can run the codes and you'll be finding a shell over there where you can start up like this uh, where is the zoom option okay. yeah, i guess you can see okay so for tomorrow we are going to start with numbers and maths and then it can be also used as a glorified calculator right so things can be done numbers and maths then variables data types then we'll be looking onto the name conventions dynamic types converting things questions will be there comparison some operators loops and ranges and all these things lists and all okay then functions and other functions this all will be going through a lot of days okay file handlings and this is not needed for you okay from here this is not for yours but you can keep it all right uh, okay so no doubts i guess whatever we have discussed today any doubts to anyone and you can ask now your doubts so presentation part has been cleared i guess from tomorrow we are going to start up with your codes and all okay so in between the things uh, i'll share the ppt on your drive okay i'll assign your drive and i'll share it there and you will be finding your videos also okay so in between all these if you have any doubts you can ask related to python or what what we discussed today Okay, then I'm going to stop your video.